Hello everyone, I'm Zach and welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create this fireball effect inspired by Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. We'll be using the Particle Simulator, which is included in HitFilm Pro, and is in the 3D Particles add-on pack for Express. You can find the project file for this effect in the video description if you'd like to follow along. The footage for this Mortal Kombat scene was filmed against a green screen, allowing Javert to place a digital matte painting behind the actors. If you want to pre-visualize a 3D environment while recording your video, you should check out our iOS app CamTrack AR, which was recently featured in Apple's keynote event. I've already gone ahead and removed the green screen and added in the background. Click the card on screen to learn how this was done. First we need to track the movement of Ollie's hands, so the fire effect will follow their movement. Add a new point layer and position it between Ollie's hands. Enable keyframing for the position, then skip ahead a few frames and move the point into place. This doesn't need to be very precise. Let's start creating our particle simulation. Drag a new particle simulator onto the timeline. Set the shape to circle and increase the radius, making it more like a fireball. Attach the emitter to our tracked point. Now our particles are created at the point's location. Set the trajectory to implode. This causes the particles to move towards the center of the circle. We want a lot more particles that appear for a short time and move very fast. In the particle system movement settings, decrease the life and increase the speed. Then raise the particles per second. We can also animate this value up from zero to make the fireball activate at a certain time. Let's make these particles look more like fire. In the appearance controls, set the texture source to built in and choose one of the fire textures. Set the color to a dull orange. Based on what texture you select, you may want to adjust the particle scale. Set the particle blend to add, then set the layers blend mode to add. Open up the lifetime panel. Let's add a gradient to the alpha, so the particles fade in and out. The middle controller can also be used to control how opaque the particles are allowed to be, reducing the brightness of the effect. The particles are very uniform, so we should add some variation. Increase the texture angle variation controls to randomize each particle's rotation and to add some spinning movement. We can also add some variation to the particle speed. With this base particle sim set up, we can now duplicate the particle system and change some settings to add more detail and interest to the effect. You can choose a different texture, change the scale, and adjust the color and alpha. Duplicate the particle system again, this time using one of the ember textures. Reduce the scale, then increase the speed, life, and particles per second to add some fast-moving sparks emitting from our fireball. Make sure to enable motion blur for this layer. I chose to boost the alpha on the sparks a little to make them more visible. 
Now that we are happy with our sim, we can add some additional effects to the particles. First, let's soften the particles with a diffuse effect. Next, we can stack a couple of glow effects to enhance the bright fire. You can adjust the per channel intensity controls on the glows to fine tune the color of the fire. Finally, let's add a heat distortion effect to break up our particles and add more interesting movement. We now have a good start to our fireball effect. To create the fire shooting away from Ollie, we can reuse the sim we just set up by changing a few settings. Duplicate the particle simulator layer. On the second sim, set the emitter's trajectory to cone and reduce the radius. Now the particles will move in one direction instead of imploding. Change the movement controls of each particle system to create the shooting fire. I would suggest increasing the speed and life, so the particles don't fade out before flying off screen. Adjust the trajectory rotation so the fire shoots in the right direction. Complicated particle effects can be made more realistic by stacking additional effects on top. One simple technique to achieve a more realistic effect is to incorporate stock footage elements. This fireball clip is from Action VFX, a great resource for high quality stock footage. You can grab a free fireball asset from the Action VFX website, linked in the description. Drag the clip onto the timeline and set its blend mode to add. Then adjust the transforms to place it into your scene. You can improve the results even further by applying additional effects to the stock footage, such as glow effects. In this case, the glow is being cut off by the edge of the layer. To fix this, make the fireball clip into its own composite shot, but increase the dimensions. The fireball is no longer too close to the edge of the layer. Set the blend mode of this layer back to add. To tie this fire effect together and add some interaction with the underlying video footage, we can use a grade layer with a heat distortion effect. Use a large feathered mask so the distortion is only applied around the fire. Then animate the heat distortion effect to fade in with the fireball. This fireball would be emitting a lot of light, so we can enhance its bright appearance with a big ol' light flare. Drag in a black plane with a blend mode of add, and apply the custom light flares effect. There are many great presets to choose from, several of which already have an orange fire-like appearance. Attach the hotspot position to our tracked point layer so the flare follows the movement. 
Then animate the intensity and scale controls to match the intensity of the fireball. The final Mortal Kombat fight scene has a heavy color grade applied, which greatly impacts the look of the fire. A curves effect was used to adjust the color, and a bleach bypass effect added contrast. If I toggle this layer on and off, you can see how it affects the fireball. It is important to keep your final grade in mind while creating your effects. For example, you may be tempted to make the fire brighter and blown out a little, but once the grade is applied it would be way too bright. For this shot, I decided to reduce the brightness of the fireball stock footage with the curves effect. I also lowered the saturation on the particles to make them match the background better. Other lighting effects such as lens dirt can also add more interest to the shot, providing some interaction between the fireball and the camera lens. If you find that your effect still doesn't blend very well, Try adding a grade layer with a gradient effect to add some lighting to the underlying footage. The final comp used an orange radial gradient effect to add an orange glow to the bottom of the frame, adding to the fiery appearance. And that's how you can create your own Mortal Kombat Fire VFX in HitFilm. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you learned something new. Don't forget to check out our other Mortal Kombat tutorials, including retro video game effects, Sub-Zero Ice VFX, and the Mortal Kombat title. Subscribe for more tutorials like this and be sure to give this video a like. See you next time!